how did you learn to speak? I think I learned through like hearing what different people say and picking it up and things. And like my first word was bath, so maybe <laughs> I heard my like family say bath lots when they were giving me a bath. And then I think I like saw the scene and I was like, oh, it's a bath, like buff, buff. And then that's probably why, like, because you just hear it said so much. So yeah, I think it's just from hearing people around saying things that you like, especially. Okay, I have another question. How do you think we learn how to speak grammatically correct without ever being taught grammar? So obviously you might learn grammar at some point in your life, but you never learn all of you never learn all of grammar and no. you learn how to speak grammatically correct without understanding the rules of grammar. I don't know, like maybe it's um the different patterns, like you get used to the patterns and hearing it and things and how things fit together. Like the same thing, just picking it up from hearing it, but I'm not sure. I think I learned how to speak was through like association. So like if my parents like, like, oh, do you want food? Are you hungry? I would get given food. So I think that's in my mind, that's the most logical reason, I guess, in how I learned to speak and understand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't really know how we learn to speak, but um. I think it's probably by association, like the, the people around us and growing up with them calling things certain things and associating those, those words with like different meanings and objects and then that's just becoming more complex. I think I learned how to speak through family members talking around me and everything, but also probably music and TV too. And I think loads of other people do that as well. So most people's responses were similar, saying that our knowledge of how we speak comes from experience and association. So this agrees with the empiricist view of, of knowledge. For example, Locke argues that we are born as blank slates, learning all knowledge from experience. Instead, rationalist philosophers like Leibniz argue that we can have innate knowledge, this being knowledge of mathematics, logical principles and the concept of identity. This innate knowledge allows us to determine an awareness of ourselves as separate beings from other things around us from the moment we're born. He does, however, argue that we can gain knowledge from experience. However, unlike innate knowledge, we can't determine if knowledge from experience is a definite truth, as our senses can deceive us. So how do we learn to speak? Chomsky argues um, like that although we learn knowledge from our social environments, this is merely vocabulary, we do not have enough experience as a child to understand the com complex rules of grammar, and every sentence that we produce can use a totally new combination of words. We have a finite number of words, yet an infinite number of larger structures such as sentences that we can, can create. He argues that we have a poverty of stimulus, which is we cannot have learned so much grammar merely from such a limited experience and information as a child. We have an innate structure, which means we already understand the rules of language. Furthermore, all languages share universal structural properties despite being very different, meaning they must have been derived from innate ways of understanding. Through this argument, it seems that our slates have been written on before we emerge from the womb. This possibly strengthens the ideas of Leibniz and challenges the idea that we are born as a blank slate. Thank you. Thank you very much.